I've always loved books. I love books. I was I was a fixture at the library when I was a kid. I was there was a path between my house and the library, and so um, when uh, Ellie decided that working in a bookstore was for her, it was partly me because I love books so much. And going down to Gulliver's and talking to Suzanne and finding out what it was like to be uh, have a book and toy store. I mean, she has to go to the toy fairs. She has to order all these things. She has to deal with staff and and all kinds of situations that um, you know people don't know about until they go up right. I mean, how do you know what it's like at Deegan Shoes unless you sit at the back and have a cup of coffee and ask what it's like to own a, a shoe store, right? So it was a lot of fun to get to know Suzanne and sit at her cottage and she'd say, you really wanna know what's going on? Well, this is the dirt, let me tell you what it's like. And right now, of course, when small independent bookstores are having, you know, they're struggling with the huge conglomerates and books online. I mean, it's the family bookstore is more than just a shop. It's a it's a calling. People who have family bookstores, these small independent bookstores, love what they do. You want a book to be recommended? You go to an independent bookstore. You want to be served and be part of a, an industry and and walk into a world of fantasy go to an independent bookstore, go to your librarian. I mean, it's, it's gotten so that people, I think they're almost struggling to know where to go to find good literature. And it's right there, but it's your independent bookstore and it's your library. So that's where I wanted to take me and the audience. Mm -hmm.